Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith and the Black Channel here, Ticker Talker, and if it's Tuesday, it's the Strat Attack Show, where we get into the urban assault vehicle and see what's going on. So, what we do know is we've got a bit of a messy tape here, and we're coming into exhaustion, which means end of the month, right? So, what we want to do is, uh, especially over the weekend, we'll be looking at how close are we to taking out the highs or lows of this month. Right now, you can see the SPY much closer to taking out the highs and just continue to chug along. If we go to QQQ here... Still a little bit closer to the highs, but uh, they've tried to put the cues away twice and haven't been able to do it. So we had that two down here, and that didn't hold. Had a two down here, and that didn't hold. So they keep coming back, and we'll get back to that in a second. Let's look at the Dow Jones Diamonds, and the Diamonds just right in the middle of the month. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Small cappers took out the inside month but didn't fall apart. So these two months are now an inside bar. So right now still closer to somewhat taking out the lows but uh, we'll see like i said messy tape out there and here's what i mean by that is that the spy yesterday came out strong but it certainly was not robust as far as breadth uh the sectors were not confirming that at all so it didn't surprise me at all uh, to come in like we did today so if you go to the weekly inside week and up 14 418 20 right we're up four cents but on the daily, we're closer to being a two up, two down, and back through here. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that. If you go to QQQ again, here, it's about the middle. But you can see the same type of deal here where we chopped up. And the, we lost a couple things here. So one of the things I was looking at was like financials. You got an outside day to the upside. And you can see yesterday they did almost nothing with the SPY up. And so now you got an outside day to the downside in the financials. XLE not participating here. And you can see that taking out Monday's lows. Um, so when you're watching the overall market, you always want to be watching these sectors, and especially IBB, because it was down yesterday, you know, when the, when the market was up, and down again today. So, um, yeah, so we're just going to be pretty much letting them open and sticking with some, you know, story stocks and good stocks like the GameStop had a nice day here. And GameStop just exploded when it took out the inside month here. Over 196.96, and then just boom, real nice. AMC also, so we got those meme stocks for those apes. Uh, you can watch KOSS to see if there's any follow-through on that. That's inside week to the upside. Here, uh, one standout would also be gold. And gold here on the day. Inside day to the upside, and that's just continuing this green month. And here was your 2-2 reversal month, and this is the continuation. So gold still having uh, still working as of right now. So uh, one of the things we want to do is when we have exhaustion, you know, the monthlies, we just want to be looking at how they're going to be closing out, right, like I just showed you. And then we can go to scans and see what's going on here. So if I pull up scans here, one second. So we can go here and search for who's up the most this week, right? Dollar gainers. And you're going to see um, Amazon all the backed off and it's, you know, price here. So you can see a lot of these higher price names. Um, so, you know, that's not giving us too much. It's like when you see things that aren't like $2,000 and all that kind of stuff. But you'll see stuff like NVIDIA, Tesla's and Tesla's Inside Day, Roku. But that backed off today. So a lot of these things are, were conflicted. So then we want to go here. We'll say who is still inside week and up. So right now, SPY is, but it's only four cents, right? And so when you can go down through here, this tells us Intel is up 26 cents for the week, right? Barely, right? Just barely taking that, that week up. Uh, Boeing, to a certain extent, AMAT, so semiconductors. And SMH does this. So SMH, once again, they tried to put it away twice, haven't been able to do it on a monthly basis. And for the week, taking out last week's highs, right, inside week to the upside. And still holding as of now, but if you go to the daily, hmm, what's that? So right now it didn't fail, it was still a two up. Um, so we can look for all the inside weeks to the upside. Like I said, you got your AMATs. AMAT still inside week to the upside, and that just tells us to keep an eye on on all the semiconductors and in your Nvidia's and all that kind of stuff uh, to see if that's holding. You have Microsoft as well on that list, and the Microsoft here. And the problem over there would be for XLK still weak and up, but Apple Apple tries to take the week and then backs off today. 
Apple backs off. So potential RevStrat data, the downside. So you can see in general not doing much. But if you go to that monthly here, you can see still poked down a little bit, but just kind of stuck in here is Apple for the XLK. Uh, if we go take it, go pull up that list again for the inside week and uppers. We can take a look at that Boeing for you. And Boeing setting up the RevStrat month, maybe two month inside pattern, which is a bit of a problem. And that's why you're getting that back and forth stuff. Um, here, so here just kind of goes up here now closer to going two back down, even though the weekly is doing this. And so when you have this, the outside bar and then the inside bar, here, the magnitude was to hit that. It did it, right? And then it just stalls out. So um, always understanding the importance of magnitude and what's going on uh, for stuff like that. If we go to a couple other, we got uh, Autodesk here. How are you doing? Inside week to the upside. Daily holds. So we had a few other ones that stayed strong today. The Adobe, SNPS, there. Okay, so then we can also look at like SQ. Here, SQ on the week. Inside week to the upside, that's holding. Uh, because we can watch uh, Bitcoin as an inside day today. And so that's why we're watching maybe like tomorrow, to how they break with Riot Blockchain and Mara and and uh, all those kind of fun guys. But you can see in general, a lot of things doing nothing. If you go to something like Caesars, you're going to see the inside week to the upside, reconfirmed the inside month to the upside. You're just going into the highs, so that's exhaustion risk. Uh, so we'll see if there's any more in the tank there. If we go to Lulu, and Lulu's still going to be an inside month. I want to see how it closes out, though, with this week. I'm trying to take that inside week to the upside. We'll see. Facebook above last week's highs and still Facebook trying to set this up on the monthly, the inside month hammer. So we'll see how that goes. If we go to Tenneco, it's in the weekend vid. Tenneco, once again, week inside month to the upside. How do you finish off the day? All right, just a little soft on that. How's that weekly? Inside week to the upside, just a little bit of exhaustion because you're going into new highs or recent highs, I should say. Uh, if we go to TLT bonds, the TLT, is inside week to the upside, right? So you get the bonds coming up here, and you've got some REITs coming up here, like letter O here, inside week to the upside. Triple N trades with that. You get an outside three to two to the upside, so you can watch that with all the other REITs, like AVB and SPG and all that kind of stuff, doing all right. Because on the downside, you had XLU, and XLU trying to go one bar rev strat week, and XLU got hit fairly hard today. And you can see this, why we watch a Tuesday, all right? It's important to know about Tuesday when things occur, because this is a Monday. But just like like the SPY is closer to taking out the lows, this is a two up, but this, boom, goes 2-2 two, two to the downside and then creates the outside bar of all this. And so we'll see if that gets any worse. Uh, like I said, IBB having some problems. And so you look at things taking out uh, last week's lows. And you're going to see Regeneron, two up, two down, weaker. To the downside, all right, and so you're going to see GILD, you're going to see Amgen, so all that that's going to be a problem. There, you got ICPT, ICPT inside week to the downside, there too. If we go to, um, I get GIGN, then you look at something like EW going the other way, all right, EW is going the other way here. So there was that 2 2 reversal week, and now this is following through here. All right, so still an inside month, but you can see, you always want to see if you can find some strength where in like a weak sector, that's good. That tells you you got some real buyers in there. Uh, if we go to like energy, you're going to see like uh, MPC, how you doing? MPC still inside on that you know, there, look at that week. But PSX here, taking out last week's lows, that's a problem. So then I want to hit the scans again and say, okay, we can go inside and up and we can go inside and down. Who's inside and down? And let me scan for that, and you will see and you'll see some energies. You're going to see APA. You're going to see EOG. All right, EOG barely just trying to take that down, but you can see the weakness in the energies when you go down that list. And so if you, especially if you just go to not even what it's inside and down, but, but what's just taking out last week's lows. 
There you go, Helmerich Payne HP, taking that out. And you go to OIH, getting closer. And so this is where things could get worse for their energies if the if their sector funds start to take out the lows. Because right now XLE is still an inside week, but it's getting closer. So it tells you to keep an eye on all that and PXDs and all that kind of fun stuff. But we're in exhaustion. Uh, so. It's, like I said, it's a messy tape. We're going to take it day by day. And as you've seen, if you've been with me the last few days, we're moving around to where we need to be, all right, and staying on gaps, staying on those stories, and staying on those memes because when they start to heat up, we know what to do. So be careful out there. you got weakness in the, in the IBB, weakness in the energy, questionable financials, and then the question is whether the tech can really pull everybody out of the water here uh, uh, as it started off the week. All right, it's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith, this is the Black Channel here at Ticker Doctor with the Strat Attack.